Welcome to the Red Roost. We're cooking on the wild side with Eddie. Today we're going to be cooking some pheasant. We're going to cook some pasta. And we've got a real good treat for you at the end of the show. I promise you, stick around. You won't be sorry. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Now we're gonna, we're gonna start off, put our pasta in here so we can start boiling it. Give it a quick little stir here. We had a spoon anyway. Oh yeah. Add a little salt to it. Now we're gonna put some of this Good old IGA olive oil. Just add you a little bit in the water. Keep it from sticking together. Now let's get busy on this pheasant. Everybody talks about how tough a pheasant is when you cook it. Well, that's not true. I mean, maybe you're not cooking it the right way and everything. We have a whole bird here. Right there. What you want to do is cut it up, find out where your joints are, and just go in between that with the knife and cut it up. Now you can cook the whole bird if you want to, but I prefer just taking them apart and everything you're cooking them. Take off, clean off whatever somebody else didn't clean off. But you can do pheasant like this or do any type bird, really. It doesn't necessarily have to be a, a pheasant. Pheasant and duck, though, they're very tough birds, particularly when you boil them or something like this, try to pre-boil them and everything. They get to the point they're right tough. And uh, that way you want to just help them along a little bit. Now, take this, slide it up here a little piece, wipe everything down. Okay. Here's your trick. Saran wrap. Everybody's gonna say, oh, you crazy. Saran wrap burn, uh, stove's gonna eat it up, or whatever. Not true. Worst part about saran wrap is getting it undone. Okay, got your saran wrap. Get you some tin foil. Tin foil down in your tray or your pan, what you go cook it in. 
Now, you want to line your meat up across here, spread them out a little bit. Take a coarse clown of seasoning salt, season them up real good. You can roll them, you can stack them, do it any way you want to do it. Even that back right there is good meat. Okay. You got that on your saran wrap. Now, we're going to take cream of celery. One can of cream of celery. Just dump it across the top of it. As you get ready to get it in there with your hands and everything, you're going to really get in, mix it up good. Set that to the side over there. And we're going to take a little bit of the honey. You want to be that steez honey. I think I should have put the thing upside down. Oh yeah. Very good. Don't forget about Steve's honey right there. You can pick that up at True Luck Station on 52. Now, just take your meat, twirl it all around, Get it all messed up in that celery, cream of celery. Okay. Let's put some onion in it. Got to put onion in it. Onion's always good for you. Never get too much. Don't forget now, I know it seems like a long time having to cook it for three or four hours, but that's what you want to do. Because that's what's going to wrap it up. So you cook it on a day you don't have nothing else to do. Wrap this up to your shrimp wrap. Get it wrapped up good. Then you take this here, set it in your tin foil. Bring that tin foil all the way up, all around your sides and everything. You see how you got it all the way up. Then you're going to take you a, a good cup of water and put on it and slip it right into the oven. We're going to stir, stir this up right here because we've got a little time to let this start cooking. And we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back.